Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a fully custom HTML Google Forms. Um, this is going to give you like endless possibilities in terms of styling it and making it look and feel the way you want and you're not restricted by Google's um, standard form um, design basically. So I haven't actually done this myself yet but I know it's going to be easy enough to do so I'm just going to go over to Google Drive Just going to sign in and I'm going to create a folder and refresh this because I know it breaks sometimes. I'm going to access um, the folder, I'm going to create a form. And basically you want to write um, out each question as you would um, if you were just using Google's form itself. So the first question for me is going to be, um, I'm going to keep it simple so you can just get the gist of what I'm doing. Okay, you can just do that. I'm just going to save, and actually saves automatically, custom HTML form. Um, I'm going to preview it. I'm going to submit that. I can go back to the form. I can see responses. I'm going to check the spreadsheet by clicking the spreadsheet button. It's going to generate a new spreadsheet. And as you can see, the data has been submitted correctly. And now, what I want to do is open up a Finder window, um, or this could be basically a page in your site which you've already got that you just want to add a form into. But I'm just going to create a. I'm going to make a totally new um, HTML file. And I wonder if I can add a boilerplate. Great. Obviously, in this case, you would want to have your own style sheet in, and you know what I mean, basically. And I'm just going to do a form. And so this is where the magic happens, really. Let's go back to the Google uh, form so I can explain to you how it works. But If I want to uh, if I want to inspect this, I'm going to look for the form element. Um, I'm going to click Command Shift C, and I click, and it's going to allow me to see the elements. And as you can see, there's a form here. There's an action element on the form, and this basically. Because it's, as it's a post, it posts the data which is in these fields and it posts it to the URL in the action. Then this is basically the URL where it processes the data and inserts it into the spreadsheet. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go to our HTML. I'm going to put that in the action. And then I'm going to do method equals post. And then I'm going to look for these fields. So Command Shift C again, click the element, and I'm going to look for the input. And the important thing here is the name. Um, so the name is entry dot one five four. Blah blah blah. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to my form. I'm going to make an input. Type is text because it's a text field. I'm going to do name equals entry, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do placeholder. Oh, 
obviously you could put in labels and stuff here as well if you wanted to but I'm going to do another input and I'm going to copy the same method I did there by going here command shift C clicking the answer and taking the name and I'm not too sure but I don't know if the submit has any specific um, no it doesn't I don't think doesn't seem to have a name on it. Um, we'll just try it as a standard submit button. Obviously this isn't going to look very good now but I'm just showing you as a concept. I'm going to open up this index.html file and I'm going to type in my name adding test2 and my age is 28, you can hit submit, and as you can see, your response has been recorded. If I go back to the spreadsheet now, the data has been inputted. Um, just a few things I would like to point out. If this form, if you change any of the settings in this form, these names might change. I'm not 100% sure because I've never really tested it, but you want to double check every time you change something that the name element doesn't change. And, yeah, like I said, this allows you to have the full flexibility of your own style sheets, of your own form. You could embed this form into your site any way you wanted to. Um, yeah, so I've, I've just been playing about with forms and spreadsheets a lot in the past week, and I'm finding out a lot of cool things. And I'm just going to keep updating the videos as I find out these things, and hopefully they'll be of use to you. If you can think of anything specific that you'd like me to... Um, investigate and show you how to do let me know in the comments and hit that subscribe button uh, thanks guys